Hello Leo, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the first half of uh, November of 2021 spiritual guidance reading. I've been guided to the Gypsy Oracle deck to lay the first uh, layer of this reading in a circle spread. So dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whichever Leo I am reading for. Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on. Please bless this Leo with clearly defined messages regarding the energy surrounding them during the first half of November of 2021. Okay, beautiful. So at the beginning of November of 2021, we have some form of conversation. Uh-oh, maybe it's not so beautiful. We have a Leo who's thinking about having a conversation about their thoughts. We've got despair in their thoughts. This Leo is feeling energies of despair because they want to have a conversation about something or maybe a conversation has led them towards this negative thinking. If you've been feeling down, sad, depressed, uh, whatever this is about with the despair energy, Spirit's saying reach out and have a conversation. That really helps. Now, in the relationship sector of the circle spread, we have a Leo here with the prison card that's feeling stuck or trapped in a situation, focusing only on energies of despair, needing to have a conversation about how you're feeling stuck or trapped in some way during the first half of November of 2021. So in the creative aspects position, spirit is saying create the energies of the doctor, Leo. This is about giving, caring, providing, supporting, lifting others up. And yeah, that may feel difficult if you're feeling stuck or trapped to energies of despair. But really, these energies of despair are in your thoughts position. You are not stuck or trapped. You can free yourself, right? We can take our mind, body, and soul and go into any direction we so choose. We have that freedom here on earth. But Spirit's saying create a way to lift each other up, be it professionally or personally. Now, in the actions position, we have a Leo here with the waiting card. Waiting and waiting and waiting for someone to care, give, provide, or free you from some form of energies of despair. But I'm hearing that this is almost like a self-imposed thinking. Negativity. Okay, so what does that do? That causes for people to want to go and reunite with someone else, right? Free me in the relationship sector. Now, there may be some single Leos who are wanting to have a conversation with someone about how they're sad and they can't let go of something. Waiting in hopes that someone here will reunite. Coming together and having a conversation is definitely, I feel, spirit saying is recommended. Now, in the subconscious position, we have this old woman energy. So, male or female, this is about I've come a long way. I've uh, created a lot for myself. I've learned a lot in my life. But I almost feel like someone's saying, I feel kind of stuck or trapped in this energy of I've been here for too long. Oh my gosh. So in the day-to-day -day aspects position, thank goodness, Spirit's offering up the priest energy. And the priest is looking over here at the old woman energy, male or female. Someone's trying to get to the truth of uh, do you care, uh, where do we stand, trying to get to the point where you can have a conversation about what's making you feel stuck or trapped in your circumstances or in the relationship. So in the inner strengths position, oh my gosh, we've got the thought card. So we got overthinking. I'm waiting and waiting and waiting to have a conversation to reunite so I can free my mind from this despair and the entrapment of a relationship. Now, if this is professional, hey, you know, maybe you're wanting to go back and reconnect with a previous business. Maybe you took a chance on something, you didn't like it, and now you're hoping that someone will come back and bring an offer to you. But this overthinking, this despair, this prison energy, this could block you from moving into the direction of better energy here. 
Okay, you're holding yourself back. Your thoughts are not healthy, is what the spirit is saying. Spirit is saying, get to the truth by having a conversation and lift each other up so you can free yourself from waiting um, and get clear about moving forward now. Somebody feels like they've been in a place for a long time. So in a three card summary to my left with the same gypsy oracle deck, we've got the falseness card, the death card, and the room. This is what I was afraid of. So at the beginning of no November of 2021, we have a Leo here who is researching the falseness of another. Maybe even needing to really look at yourself and say, what are these energies of despair about? Are you fearing falseness? Are you being false or is another? We have uh, a sweetheart energy, male or female, who's thinking about a thief, someone who comes and goes and then steals your peace of mind. And that's what's making someone here recognize that someone's coming and going and they're carrying energies of falseness. They're a force. I know spirit's going to help me to heal in the area of love. I am hoping that I can transform by traveling into the direction of kind words and messages with others or others. Okay, I definitely am feeling like if, if there's a relationship that's been off, you know, uh, going and seeing someone having a conversation, it's going to bring you both together. It's going to help you to be able to express a part of yourself that's making you feel trapped in the relationship. By the second week of November of 2021, we have someone sighing here in awe of the death card. Have I changed? Has the situation changed? Should we bring the situation to an end? There's definitely someone thinking about, because I got these two cards like this over to my left, thinking about an old friend, but needing to bring that to an end because it's only going to cause the energies of misfortune. Thinking about home, marriage, children, in hopes that cheerfulness will return. Uh, that there will be communication, uh, but it'll be from someone who just shouldn't be trusted or this is just unhealthy decision making. So Spirit's really saying with these two cards in the first half of November to really celebrate your current home environment, family, friends. These are your soulmates. Someone may be contemplating another child and there's a need to come together and have a conversation about that. Now, by mid-November of 2021, we've got a surprise here that, oh my gosh, because of this negative thinking, I'm finding myself sitting here with this room energy, sitting here bored, discontent, and empty, sitting here alone, not with another person, overthinking and waiting. So Spirit's saying, turn this chair in towards this table and create something that truly fulfills you personally on a day-to-day -day basis. Writing, drawing, painting, doing photography, pottery, poetry. Yeah, because someone here is a bit discontent is what I'm feeling with those two cards. Therefore, they're walking in their ego. They're starting to fantasize a reunion with someone else in hopes that they will be really kind, loving, caring, giving, supportive, and faithful. Yeah, some are hoping to connect with this lover energy or a passionate situation because you're feeling stuck or trapped in your relationship. Now, it could very well be that there's a person you're connecting with who is feeling this way. And if that's the case, you probably know this is kind of what they're going through. Now, to clarify, I'm going to bring in the Witch's Tarot, Oracle, uh, tarot deck by Ellen Dugan, please clarify the astrological signs and or elements or spiritual advice regarding the messages we have previously discussed in this circle. Spread dear Lord, spirit guides and angels. Please clarify these messages or provide spiritual guidance for the first half of November of 2021. Yeah, so there's definitely, that could be your energy with the Knight of Wands here wanting to uh, go very quickly maybe without thinking into the direction of some form of conversation here at the beginning of November of 2021. Now, for some of you singles, it could be that someone's come towards you or they're going to very passionately and there's going to be a conversation here. Again, there's energies of despair in the thoughts position. Indecision about one financial path, journey, direction, investment, things of the material or another. There may feel like there's a lot going on because someone's coming in here or you're just not sure of your current environment. Am I where I want to be? 
at the beginning of November. In the relationship sector, we have the Knight of Pentacles energy. So we have someone here who's feeling imprisoned in hopes that someone else will come towards them, but they're dragging their feet. So someone is hoping to move into a new direction, to go quickly into the direction whereby you're only going to find yourself trapped or stuck in the relationship sector more. So this is about finding contentment with your current connections, family and friends. These are your soulmates lifting each other up recognizing and giving thanks to spirit with the six of pentacles energies that you have been blessed with someone who really cares loves gives provides and supports you the spirit is really nudging this leo in the creative aspects position to create an opportunity to bring balance back into this relationship some may be thinking about situations tied to the past but again I don't think they're coming. I think this is like I'm wishing I could reunite with someone else because I'm feeling stuck or trapped, but it's not going to happen. At least not in the first half of November. Now in the actions position, we have the nine of wands energies. I put a lot of time and passionate effort and, and everything into something here. Having to do with home, family, or business. And now I'm hoping that because of what I've created, eventually I will maybe receive some money for or maybe we're both in agreement that it's time to move into a new direction financially or materially home or family but it's like even by mid-november they're still waiting and so spirit's saying keep doing what you're doing you know keep creating something that brings you joy day to day so that you can surpass these energies of overthinking thinking about what isn't here Oh my, okay, so emotionally, I am getting something about an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. I wasn't going to say anything until I saw now one, two, three, four cards of pentacles. Some Leos may be contemplating a connection to an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn that came in very quickly and left just as quickly. And now you're hoping they're going to come. You're kind of feeling imprisoned to waiting for this person in hopes that this will be a balanced connection. And Spirit saying by mid-November, you're still going to be waiting, waiting to reunite, waiting for an offer or opportunity to come. And yeah, I think there will be a reunion. If this is a relationship that's just gone bored and discontent for a while that's why spirit saying put your energy back in and come back together and good things will happen you know focus on you know what you want to create next financially creatively um materially now i do feel like if this is a single leo you're unsure and will find yourself waiting on a situation in connection to an earth sign virgo taurus or capricorn where you're just unsure if it is a balanced situation it's like they're coming, but then you're waiting and waiting and waiting for them to come back once again. And I think they're going to come and communicate with you, but then they're just going to leave. So it's like they're going to come and go and come and go. So in the subconscious position, yeah, there's the Knight of Cups energies. You're thinking a lot about playful communication. For some of you, maybe it is someone who has water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, wanting to move playfully into a new direction. But we do have an old woman here in the mix of things for some. Wanting to have a passionate conversation with maybe a water sign, but they're dragging their feet. You're feeling imprisoned because you are wanting to get out of these energies of despair. But spirit's saying, keep doing you. In the day-to-day -day aspects position, yeah, as you sit and observe a situation, right or wrong, with the priest energy, eventually something's going to come towards you quickly and unexpectedly. So again, there's like, is this right? Is this wrong? They came and left, and now I'm kind of hoping they'll come in again, and that it's a balanced connection, but I'm just waiting and waiting and waiting on a reunion. And when they come in, they just kind of leave me stuck and imprisoned again. And it's bringing me energies of despair. It's causing me to overthink. Oh my, so with the Five of Wands energies, there is inner conflict about what action steps to take regarding someone who came in very quickly and swiftly and now that you can't let go of, now that you're waiting on, now that you've got yourself stuck or trapped in energies of despair. 
Now, if this is a financial read, this is someone thinking about a new path, a new direction, and eventually an offer is going to come. It may be closer to mid-November. You put a lot of time and effort in. Hang in there. Do you. Communication is going to come. So someone may have communicated with you at the end of October going into November in the area of career and finance. Wait patiently. It will come. That communication is here. So you may come back together with them regarding an unexpected offer that feels good. So free yourself from negative thinking because that could very well block this opportunity from coming in. So in a three card summary to my left, we've got the three of wands, the ace of cups and the six of cups. So we have someone here putting time and effort into the next path, right? What am I creating next in the area of home, family, or business? Uh, Spirit's saying we're going to help for you to bring your ship in, right? Uh, but we do have the four of pentacles energy. So this is kind of clinging to your finances, uh, not opening up emotionally or spiritually. Spirit's saying listen to your intuition. Somebody could be drinking a lot and it's making the other person close off. By the second week of November, oh my gosh, we've got two gifts from the universe. One in the form of the Ace of Cups, one in the form of the Ace of Wands. So wands representing a passionate new direction in the area of home, family, or business and a new path of love. Uh, overflowing with peace, joy, and happiness. Now, we may have someone here trying to decide between another fire sign, Sag, Aries, or Leo like yourself, and or maybe a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Thinking about marriage, commitment, uh, the past, uh, wanting to communicate some form of truth, but spirit saying, be careful, Leo, with the Seven of Cups energies. That is all about fantasy and illusion. Looking at a new path could definitely cause energies of heartache. So it's time to put effort back into celebrating where you are at. This beautiful light at the end of the tunnel. Contentment, peace, and a decent bank account. Leave troubled waters behind. Don't even go there is what I'm hearing. The wheel of fortune will turn in your favor. You just need to be patient. By mid-November of 2021, we've got thinking about the past, your childhood, a situation involving children as you manifest, wanting to manifest, wanting to manipulate in some cases, a situation tied to one's past. So here you are in your element, Leo, with the strength card, having the strength to wait regarding someone who's in a leadership position, someone who's very much focused on their money, uh, their family, Father figure, grandfather figure, spirit is saying, hang in there. Yeah. Eventually, you're going to bring an end to what you were wishing for. It's time to plant new seeds. It's time to come back together with those who really appreciate you or share their life with you day to day. Yeah, the shadow energy is tied to the moon card. Could be in a, a Pisces, Cancer, Pisces energy in their chart. Bringing things full circle, coming back into connection with your soulmates, just like I said, manifesting a new direction and, and not crying over spilt milk, right? Not crying over what used to be, but giving thanks to how far you've come. Yeah, be careful. Anyone who tries to do something here, reunite in the midst of a previous situation, you could cause uh, a, a, not a good outcome. This is walking on the higher path, right? Doing the right thing. Giving thanks to the life that spirit has already brought to you, not desiring the past or something else. If you're single, the communication is small and it's, you're going to still want some more information by mid-November if this is a, a new relationship. So an overall description of the energy, please, dear Lord, spirit, guides, and angels. This is the Journey of Love deck by Alana Fairchild. Message for this Leo. Angel of Jupiter, awaken, and the number six. So spirit's trying to guide you towards success. They're saying a life-changing opportunity is taking place. Don't hesitate to accept it. All right, an offer is coming where you can share with family and friends, where things can grow and develop, where conversations will finally lead things forward and you'll be free. Things are going to happen. They're just happening 
when the divine timing allows. You do have the card of intimacy right behind that. If that applies, spirit saying surrender and share who you are. Be vulnerable. And I know that's hard for some Leos. So should these messages have resonated for you and you have further questions about your own personal uh, journey, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, or yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the Fall Special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you so much for your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. Thank you so very, very much to those of you who have continued to donate to my channel. To keep it up and running, take care and God bless.